you know on your uh, monitor okay there's like information being fed to the monitor and that's kind of like being temporarily stored there so you can see it but then it's gone right it's closed so um, these chips it's really important to make sure you have enough RAM especially if you're multitask with a lot of programs so that you're able to not have a slow computer okay uh, I, I remember when they used to have like 256 megabytes as their RAM, but now these days the standard is more about four gigabytes or maybe two for low end. So uh, you definitely need some uh, good RAM for that. And again, the RAM slots, they just slide right in here uh, just like that. Okay, so um, other things, we talked about video and um, photography or photos. So our graphics, what really helps you see uh, really good graphics on the, your monitor is a good graphics card. Now all motherboards have a graphics card built into it, but you know it's just average, you know. Um, some people like to upgrade and have a better graphics card so that they can see more colors or it's more vibrant or they can do more with it, okay. Now if you want to upgrade your graphics card, what you do is uh, you buy a graphics card and you have to install it into your onto your motherboard. Now there's a special slot just for graphics cards and it can only be used for graphics cards. Now you want to make sure that your motherboard has it because this motherboard does not have the slot and the slot we're looking for is called AGP, Accelerate Graphics Processor. AGP. Accelerate graphics processor. Now it's usually in the middle, okay? It's uh, so this slot right here is called our AGP, and then these are called PCI. Now PCI slots are used for basically any other uh, peripheral de device or a card. But if you notice, if I try to plug this into the PCI, it doesn't fit. But it does fit into our AGP, okay? Now, the old versions of the PCI slots is called a, um, ISA, okay, ISA slots, but usually we don't see those anymore. So again, graphics cards go into the AGP slots, and when you plug them in, you want to make sure that they stick out with the other ports, as you see here. You don't want to stick it out this way, because then you can't plug anything in. So you plug it in here, okay, and then notice that you can see the... Um, different devices that you can attach to it. Well, where does this go? Okay, well, I'm glad you asked that. So if we look at our computer here, okay, notice we have, this is a graphics card that's plugged in right now, and we turn it around, okay, and you'll notice that we can plug in a, a device to our graphics card, and here's our other ports as well. So it's very, very important. A lot of people get this wrong when they assemble their computers. You want to make sure that these match up, okay? That your uh, ports match up together. For example, um, this is a student who built a computer, and she made a mother. Okay, so. Okay, so that's uh, AGP and PCI. Another things that go into a PCI slot, um, like a network card. It's okay, a network card. You can uh, put in a 56K modem uh, or Ethernet cable. And so basically this slot will plug right into your uh, slot right here. Okay? And then you plug that in, and then we can um, use that on our motherboard. Now to summarize the different parts that saves data, we have the hard drive that saves uh, permanent data, we have the RAM, which is also known as random access memory, and this um, saves uh, the program, like, random access memory. Now we also have the ROM, which is read-only memory. Now this is permanent data, and it looks a little bit like this, 
Okay, it's a little bit a, squ a small square um, on your uh, motherboard. Sometimes it's hard to identify because you may see a couple, but um, what it does is it store in uh, it's installed by the manufacturer, whoever makes it, and it basically um, sets up the firmware or programs that are internally controlled, um, like the keyboard and hard drive and um, so if you plug those things in, it automatically recognizes it and knows what to do with it. Also the BIOS settings, like when you turn on your computer, uh, it basically goes through the steps of what to do, of boot up. Okay? Th like that kind of information, it's not going to change. So it's, it's stored on these little chips and permanently kept there. Now I have a question. Uh, if you turn off your computer, okay, and you turn it back on, uh, doesn't it still say the same date even if you're not connected to the internet okay it still says the same date and time now how does it do that uh, basically what you have here you see this little circle shiny thing you may this looks like a watch battery okay uh, so this battery okay saves like, basically powers the bio setting because remember the bio setting is where it saves some of the permanent data that's not really changed on your computer like those settings so this battery keeps that always running or stored, and then it reduces itself every time the computer is powered up. So if you don't turn on your computer for years and years and years, then and it doesn't turn on, probably because your battery is gone on your motherboard. So uh, some of the ports that we talked about or we need to talk about is here we have our sound ports, okay. You can also upgrade to have uh, more sound ports. Like right now, this is 2.1. You can put in like, like for two speakers. But you've also heard of 5.1 and 7.1. That's adding five and seven speakers, like with a subwoofer. Uh, if you're gonna do that, okay, you'll need a sound card, and you're gonna put this into the PCI slot, and then you can um, add more sound options for that. We also have our serial port, which is, isn't very used often because it's old for old printers. Now printers go with uh, USB. Uh, we have serial ports, which is used for like old mice and joysticks. That's, that's not really used anymore. We have the USB slots, which are very used. And then we have our green and our uh, purple. Purple is for the old style keyboards and green is for the mouse, but right now they're used for the USBs to plug those in and so on. So those are some of the ports um, that are on your computer. So we basically covered the parts of the computer. One other part that's usually present is a fan, okay? Having a fan right here and as essential part of the computer to make sure it's all cool. So in total we have three fans one fan in our power supply, one fan on our processor, and one fan for the main uh, body of the computer on the inside. And remember we have our CD disk or DVD disk and our hard drive. Um, and then we have our motherboard with our ADE cables and our power slots. And so that's the parts of a computer.